Hi guys, it's Chrissy with Chrissy's Divine Design Tarot, and today we are doing a reading for Drake and Sexy Red. Now this is by request, just saying. So we're going to see how they feel about one another. How does Drake feel about Sexy Red? Ah, healing a connection here. There may have been a rift between these two at one point. Maybe they aren't together. I don't know who she is. Let's see. Real feelings. He's thinking about the feelings he has for her. Now, this could be recently. Uh, I'm kind of feeling like this might be recent. Mm. She may, He may think that she's a bit of a tease. That was kind of on that side. So he's thinking how much of a tease she is. Rendezvous. So, now this could just mean that they're getting together for some reason. He might be, um, maybe they're calling each other or needing to be in contact. I don't know. What is this? Spirit, soul, path, and then manifesting the one. So he's thinking about the one. I don't know if he's thinking about sexy red though. There is a spirit soul path here with her though. So there must be something that they are doing together. I don't know. Something that they share, I guess. It's like maybe a friendship. Oh, perfect match is in reverse. So it's not his perfect match. It's not somebody he's going to uh, go anywhere with or do anything with. It looks like he doesn't, it doesn't feel like she's the one. So let's see here. Tell me about Sexy Red. What does she feel? Uh, natural evolution. So she's looking for somebody that will have something unfold naturally. So let's see, what else is she feeling towards Drake? There's been a time apart, so there must have been a breakup of some sort. Love language is acts of service, doing things for her. She likes that. That's her love language. Mementos, she likes having uh, things bought for her. She may like things that uh, remind her of certain memories. Ah, she might be looking for a lasting love. Maybe this was not it if there was time apart and things aren't going the way that they're meant to here. It's kind of what I'm getting here. Love, love language is quality time and maybe not getting that. It's the bottom of the deck. Honest communication. Well, at least they're being honest with each other. <laughs> Can't ask for more than that. So at least they look like or feel like they might be decently okay as friends. Um, okay, somebody's thinking something. Tell the tree what you really think and Cupid, love is in the air when Cupid is around. So somebody is thinking about love and somebody here, as in Drake, I guess it's Drake because I was doing Drake first. So you may be thinking about talking about something uh, maybe about a love that he is feeling here now this could be for her but i don't feel like it's her soul your soul is preparing to re-establish trust in the process so he's learning to trust her is kind of what i'm getting here i don't know what this is no nope, it's in reverse love okay so there's no love i'm not not getting romantic love okay love can conquer everything and there's no love in this situation <laughs> not like what we're thinking here yeah there's that barrier find ways around the obstacles to find happiness and i feel like um time apart is a big thing where they're finding their happiness i don't feel like the love here is like a a connection they're going to get together I, I, I don't know what this is isn't this somebody that he might be romantically wanting to be with I, I don't know it's a request so I don't know who she is to him so we're gonna see what the cards say mm. he may have wanted to marry her at one point the marriage of souls is a union of two divine opponents 
So I feel like the opponents kind of came out different to me in that sentence. Like maybe there was some bad blood when it came to something here. Maybe somebody was getting more attention or things weren't what they seem. Oh, no, what is that? All right. Anyway, you guys are all going to know. I'm just reading the cards and kind of going by what, what I'm feeling as I'm doing them. And it's kind of like um, there's love there, but there's <laughs> it's not for one another, but there's a lot of love. So this is kind of interesting to me. They don't they don't see each other as marriage material with each other, but willing to marry her all the same at one point. Now, maybe that was before something happened here. Maybe it doesn't feel that way now or something's happened that's made him want to do something. But I, I don't feel like it's out of love because it's in reverse. So it's um, is it out of obligation of some sort? I don't know. Is there a child here? Maybe there's a child here. Because there's love, but it's not for one another. So this is kind of confusing me. Yeah, you guys will tell me in the comment section, I'm sure. I don't know. I don't look people up. I, I don't know. Sexy Red, I don't know who that is. So we'll see what happens here. Moment. Think of a special moment that brought you and your partner a lot of joy. So they, they've shared moments of joy. So maybe there is a baby here. Yeah, there's a link here between the two. And and it's it's there's a link here that has a bond of love that grows, but it's not for one another. There's got to be a baby here. Attract. The appeal of a soul pairing goes beyond superficiality. So I feel like they're being real with one another, like she's being real with them, but the the link isn't due to love for one another. It's for love, but not for each other. It's got to be something they share. Yeah, trust your intuition. So, yeah, I feel like there might be a baby here that's kind of telling me what it's saying. Uh -uh. They may have... um. She may have telepathy with somebody else, though. I don't, maybe they have it together, but, you know, they, or maybe telepathy with the baby. I don't know. Trust. There needs to be trust in this relationship for sure, if there, especially if there's a baby involved. So, I don't know. I, I don't know why I get a baby. Maybe there's no baby, but, I don't know. It's confusing for me. I don't get it. If if it's not a baby, I don't know what it is then. Maybe it's a pet. Maybe a pet that they share. I don't know. They're sharing something that they love. Maybe it's work. Animals. It's got maybe it's animals. Maybe he has a love for animals. Thinking about love. There's love here, but not for one another. What are the actions here? Looks like looking after a pet, maybe. Hmm. He might be getting answers to things that he's looking for. For um, I think like not wanting to put love into something, or if it is love, it's into something else. Maybe an animal, or maybe a baby. I don't know. Courage. There's strength and courage and bravery here. I feel like they're being honest with one another. They have to be. Looks like she has a baby in her arms here. I don't know. Spirit guides. So it looks like he may have spirit guides that are guiding him. So tell me about sexy red. She has a sense of well-being. I, I feel like they're not together, though. There's some, she's thinking about good luck here. Some type of luck. There's an animal here, too, a cat. Maybe he's looking after pets here for her. There's a friendship here. So it's it's not, <laughs> maybe a friendship with the animals. I don't know. Somebody's got psychic abilities. It's just whether they're tapped in or not. 
She may be getting messages from his spirit guide here. What is going on? Ah, new beginnings. So this is a new chapter for these two. But it's not together. It's to do with something else. Maybe career. Career is here. So maybe she's with him with his career or something. Maybe he's on tour and she went with him? Hmm. I don't think he was with anybody, but I could be wrong. I don't feel like they're together as a couple, though. That's the funny part. It's just really not telling me that. It's kind of just saying that they're together for other reasons. Career, animals, maybe a baby, if, it, if there's a baby here. I don't know. Spirit's saying that's the truth. So maybe there's, maybe it's all three. I don't know. Maybe it's all three. That's kind of what I'm getting here. Maybe they have animals together or he's looking after her animal. Maybe something to do with a baby. I don't, know what the, I don't know what that is. So let's just see here. Let's get this all into perspective. Tell me about the rendezvous. Maybe it's not with her or maybe she witnesses these. There's some kind of they're trying to heal a connection, but I don't... Hmm. Something's coming forward here. Eight of Wands. So there is some type of breakthrough or promise. I don't feel like it's... Maybe it's an object of desire between the two of them. If it's a baby, they both desire to be with the baby. I don't... Or an animal, if it's not a baby. Let's see. Knight of Swords, watching somebody, watching the baby, uh, watching the animals, watching, I don't know, <laughs> watching over something while she's not there. I don't know. It's like, I don't know what this feeling is. It's like, has something to do with the animals, though. Four of Wands, happy home, watching a home. I feel like he's looking after somebody's home. Maybe watering the plants. I don't know what this is. Maybe she's gone somewhere. Maybe she's away with the baby. Oh, oh. ten of wands. So something is no longer a struggle here. There's a lesson learned or pain ends. Pain ends. What is that? Maybe she was pregnant, just had the baby. Maybe that's why he's watching the animals, or I don't know. I'm, I don't know what I'm feeling here. Yeah, ten of cups. So he's definitely looking for his marriage material. Maybe that's why he had the idea of marriage was to do the right thing if there's a baby involved. Maybe seeing the baby as the ten, ten of cups. He's looking for a ten of, yeah, he's looking for somebody uh, that is working, that is uh, maybe has their own business, has a vision, who's kind of fiery or confident and determined. I don't feel like that's her, though. I don't feel like there's a bond like that. I feel like there's a bond, but it's a different type of bond. Maybe there's a lot of love between the two, but it might just be for the child. If there's a child. That's too many, Spirit. I'll take the top. Mm, Nine of Swords. So there was something that happened here. Looks like um, there's some worry and this could be maybe the baby came maybe the baby's here maybe she just he's watching over stuff for her watering the plants i'm envisioning watering the plants feeding the animals maybe it's fish i don't know and then Looking after the house or making sure nobody's broken in or staying there. I don't, I don't know what that is. Tell me about the telepathy with her. Tell me about this link and the telepathy. Three of Wands. Okay, so the baby's here. Ships are here. Ships have come in. That's kind of what I'm getting here. 
Maybe this is recent for, I didn't even know anybody was pregnant by him. Maybe I've got this all wrong. <laughs> I don't know what I got going on here. What is going on? Oh, no, they are building something together. I'm kind of getting, it might be a career, but I'm kind of feeling like this has got to do with, it makes more sense in this if there's a baby here. This It makes more sense if there's a baby here. Of the new beginning. Five of Wands. I feel like this is uh, conflicting opinions, maybe about parenting. Parenting styles. She may not like the way he does certain things or choices. I feel like competing for the baby's attention or having the baby around. Uh, I'm not sure what this is. Spirit guides, what is this? With the answers of love. I don't know. He's shown up as the emperor, so he's done a lot of work here when it comes to things. I feel like he's done a lot of um, the emotional heart aspect of healing here yeah he's he's going forward he's propelling forward towards his career and his maybe animals and love of animals and maybe even his love life here tell me about that wow king of wands he's coming off as pretty nice looking he is a nice looking guy so <laughs> king of wands is that built guy that's kind of burly and man man manly <laughs> man man manly <laughs> well you know what i mean <laughs> uh yeah wanting to invest in this so wanting to invest in somebody here i feel like he has somebody in mind i don't feel like it's her though yeah he's looking for his empress would you look at that Looking for his empress. So I don't feel like that's her. So let's see. Because he's moving forward. And that seems to me like it's away from her. I'm feeling. So let's see. What's the well-being and friendship here? Because I feel like this is just a friendship. Maybe co-parenting. Or co-parenting of pets maybe. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's Ten of Pentacles. They're building their wealth though. So she might be part of his career too. I don't know. There's a highlight here I'm getting of her. I don't know where that's from. I don't know what she does, but there's a different perspective about her here, or she's having a different perspective about him, maybe? Five of Swords. Hmm. This is kind of like arguments. I feel like there's maybe a little bit of hostility here, but there's too much tension here between these two for anything good to come of a relationship. If it's for career or for co-parenting, as long as they're not together as a couple, maybe they're just having fun in the bedroom with these rendezvous or whatever, or maybe he's having rendezvous with other people and maybe she knows about them. I don't know. Three of Pentacles, they're trying to work together on stuff. I feel like it's, it's got to be the career, animals, or a baby. It's got to be. Makes way more sense that way. Feels right. Seven of Cups. Yeah, there's a lot of options or some confusion. Maybe about their style of parenting or the way they treat their pets. What about this new beginning? I feel like that's the child being born. So maybe it hasn't happened yet. Page of Cups. So this is going to be good news coming in. This is going to be um, happy news. This is the baby. This has got to be the baby. Happy news. And good luck. So the baby is fine. What's the combined energy here? Hmm. Yeah, they don't, they're not together. They're definitely not together. I'm not feeling it. There's that, actually, that, uh, I wouldn't say there's too much tension between them. I, I don't feel like there's any love connection there. I think that's overdone with. Time apart, I feel like they've kind of 
move past that, but with the child makes much more sense or the career thing, the animals, maybe she's gone somewhere. So maybe, so maybe she's having the baby and he's watering the plants, looking after the animals. I don't know. He wants a happy home, though, for this kid is kind of what I was feeling here. And I feel like at one point he was willing to marry her because of the child. But I, I feel like there's no love there. So why would he do that? I feel like he wants to find his empress. And I feel like this is not her. Oh, I wonder why I did that. I saw the queen of cups and the devil. So sweetheart, but she's got her shadow side like anybody. So let's see what the intuition is saying about Drake. How he, what his intuition is about sexy red. Patience is what I'm getting. Wanting harmony with her. Having that, so there's no tension or fighting or something. And if they're co-parenting, they kind of have to be on the same page for that. For it to kind of work out where there's no animosity or angry words or any kind of tension there that the baby may feel yes yeah, i feel like she knows or she's coming up as this emotionally balanced generous tolerant sensitive and understanding now she may be seeing drake as that so she may be coming up as that um as a way of trying to get along is what i'm getting getting along getting along trying to get along trying to get along look at that the colors are all random i got yellow pink green blue i've got all of the colors while i'm channeling it's not weird eh so, let's see here. Let's do the little bag here up quick and see what else comes up here for them. All right. Oh, there's that marriage. Maybe he asked her to marry him at one point. I am grateful for you. So grateful for uh, having the baby. You're seeing something. Hmm. There is love here, but it's not that way. Not not like a love and marriage thing. You have a key, so maybe they have keys to the house, to each other's houses. There's believe here. There's that green heart, which is that envy heart. So there's envy and envy, envious uh, energy here. One of them may be a water sign. One may be a Capricorn. Maybe that's why I saw the double card and the Queen of Cups. Um, something's happening in the spring. Like I said, maybe it's now or soon or maybe just in the last little bit here already. Now there's knowledge being done here. Believe, eh? <laughs> It sounds Canadian, eh? <laughs> Poser. <laughs> All right, there is a dynamic here. And anybody, oh, see, divorce. So there is marriage and divorce here. So maybe they just never got married, or maybe they did get married, got divorced. Or it could be that they were engaged and that didn't happen. But this is kind of indicating to me that that didn't work out. We got the bicycle here. so. There is some leisurely things going on here. I feel like things are moving forward. Maybe they're doing things together or some type of movement forward. But there is that envious heart here. What do they say about jealousy? It's um, green envy or whatever it is. Anyways, we got the green heart here. So there you have it. Um, I feel like she may be jealous if he's with someone else. Maybe she wants to be with him, but he has no love for her that way. There's things that happen that I feel like, no, I'm not doing that. At one point, maybe wanted to marry her, but that those feelings are gone, long gone. It's kind of what I'm, not long gone, but 
gone. Enough for him to, to heal some months of it. So, in any case, that's what I have for Drake and Sexy Red. You never know, things could change later on, but as the energy sits right now, this is what I'm seeing. So please like, share, and subscribe. Become part of the Divine Oracle Tribe if you haven't done so already. <laughs> All right. So if you'd like to donate, there is a PayPal in the link in the description box, or there is the super thanks, or just watching the videos is so much thanks. I appreciate you all. You know that for sure, I hope. <laughs> and uh, yeah, um, stick with me where I'm going to be doing the Zodiac signs for April coming up. All right, guys, take care, stay blessed, and we'll see you next time. Later.